you know, he just did such a great job in this. And, and, and to me, George just seemed like a very complicated guy. You know, I, was it hard to get into his mindset? I know it's on script, but there's a lot going on here with this guy. No, there's a lot going on, and, but it was just beautifully written, you know. And, uh, and, you know, it's a very subtle performance, but I, when you have Clint Eastwood directing you, you know, you, you trust that that's going to all come through. And, and uh, you know, I mean, I just felt lucky to get the job, really. Seriously, it's like, you know, the, the jobs like that don't come around very often, where, where, where you're working with a master director and, and uh, with a beautiful script and a terrific role. And, you know, it's just, it's, uh, just that it does not feel like work. Well, it must have been amazing for you, Matt, too, to know that somebody like Clint Eastwood accommodated his schedule to make sure that you could be in this film. That was after a very uh, prolonged lobbying campaign. Um, <clears throat> some begging, too. I'm not afraid to tell you that I begged him. Um, yeah, no, I, there was a whole, there was a, there was a few week stretch there where I, th where I thought, uh, because at first when I said, he, he wanted to go in the fall and I was busy September, October, November, December, and I couldn't get free because um, I was on another movie. And I said, I could do it in August, I could do it in January, you know, like to, just, just not those four months. And, and he said, no, no, I, you know, the train's kind of left the station, we're going. And, uh, and, and then, you know, I was crestfallen, obviously. I was really, really bummed. But uh, then, then, he, then he figured out a way to, to shoot the rest of the movie and then just fit me in it, you know, in January. Pretty amazing, yeah, I have to say. Now, yeah. you know, yes, it's, you've worked with him now twice, what is it about Clint Eastwood? I mean, any actor would give his eye tooth, you know, to, yeah. to work with that guy. Yeah. But what is it specifically? Like, what have you learned after, you know, working with this man? Well, he's a, he's, he's a great actor, and, 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 and he knows how to create an environment for, for his actors. And, and he, he trusts his actors. He trusts everybody that he works with. He, 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 he hires, you know, his, his crew is great, and, and he... He gives them all, uh, you know, leeway and you know to do a, to do their best work, and he and he creates an environment where they can do it, and and uh, and he doesn't beat you to death with it either, you know. Um, and so, you know, you you have plenty of time to prepare and come in and be ready, um, and uh, it's just kind of a blissful experience. It's just very very easy. What you know, what I liked a lot about George, the character you play, is that he sees this definitely not a gift. This is a curse. This is driving me crazy. I'm gonna, you know, I can't live with this. Most people wouldn't see it like that if they had that type of, you know. And then there's a lot of charlatans out there who are just out to make a buck. Um, have you ever had a psychic experience before? Or because that kind of stuff scares the crap out of me. Yeah, you know? no, I haven't. I, I've. Uh... I'm, I'm completely open to it, you know. If 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 if, if I was referred to somebody, I'm I'm certainly, uh, <clears throat> I you know I certainly believe that it that it's possible, um, but uh, but I haven't had a uh, I haven't had any kind of experience. Yeah, per se. They're just ugh, I don't think I'd want to know. Really, I just really don't. Do you think you'd want to know something like if somebody you know? I, well, if somebody could do what George did and connect you to to somebody who passed on, I'd be very interested in. You know, in, in that. Is there somebody that you, if you had that one chance to talk to somebody? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone. You know, you get to my age, you've lost friends and family members, and so uh, there's there's a there's a list of people I'd like to to, to talk to. Uh, you know, and the, Clint raised the point the other day. He said there's people who lived in other times that I'd like to talk to. You know, absolutely. Um, so so yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd I'd be open to that. You have worked with so many wonderful directings and uh, directors, and I, you know I want to know if uh, directing is something that's going to be in your near future. I hope so. Yeah, I'm looking for a good piece of material. I I just keep getting side sidelined by these you know these great jobs, um, and uh, and again I just keep learning stuff when I watch these other directors. It's just really, it's a great job. It's a really fun job, and uh, and. Uh, I think fun because you can never really perfect it. Well, what and kind of script would you want to direct? What kind of movie would we see from you? Uh, well, you know, my real dream would be to be like Clint, and uh, and I think what makes his career so amazing is that uh, you couldn't really say what kind of movie he directs because they're all so different, and uh, he just loves telling good stories, and and so you know, in that spirit, I'm really open to anything, um, you know, that that. Uh, that just that, that gets me somehow. Yeah, 